Today, I'll show you how to create an animated menu button like this. If someone clicks on it, the menu pops up with a really cool animation. I made this in Elementor and used a small CSS code that I got from the Make Dream website channel. If you want to get this design for your site, I'll link the JSON file in the description below so you can import it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create a template for our menu. This will help us set it as a header across all our pages. To do that, go to your WordPress dashboard and hover over Templates. Now, click on Theme Builder and you'll see different options like headers, footers and more. As we're creating a menu for our site, I'll select the header option. Click on the plus button here to add a new header and close the pop-up. As you can see, I've got a blank page here to make the menu. First, let's add a new container structure. Click on this plus icon and choose this container layout. Now, go to the left panel and set the content width to full width. I'll also set the minimum height like this and done. Now let's create the menu buttons. I'll add a new container like this and add a button widget. Next, set the container to full width and change its width and height to this. I'll also remove any padding and scroll down. To place the button on the right side, change the container's position to absolute. Now set the horizontal orientation to the right and set an offset value of 35. I'll also set the vertical offset to 35 and give the button a Z index of 20. This keeps the button above the menu. Now, using the style tab, I will change the text, font and borders of this button. Once that's done, it should look something like this. All right, we also need a button to close the menu. So just click on this button and duplicate it like this. I'll change the text to close and change the button color to this. I'll also change the text color to black, like this. Now that the buttons are in place, we need to reduce the gap between them. Let's just go back to layout settings and set the gap to zero, and it's done. Next, let's set up the menu area. I'll add a new container and use the navigator to place it below all the existing containers. Set this container to full width and adjust its height to 480 pixels. I'll also remove any padding around the container to keep the design clean. Now change the position to absolute and then set the horizontal orientation to the right. Let's also set an offset value to this and set the Z index to 10. Now let's add a background color to the menu. Go to the style tab, select background overlay and choose a color like this. I'll set the opacity to one so it's clearly visible. Let's also add a border radius like this to make the corners rounded. All right, we're nearly done. Let's create the menu items. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. To do that, let's add another container like this. Now search for the icon list widget and drop it here. I'll choose this item and add an arrow icon by clicking here. I'll also change the name to home. You can also set a dynamic link here, so when someone clicks on this button, they'll be redirected to that page. Just copy this item by clicking here. I'll quickly edit these buttons and done. Next, go to the style tab and customize the icons, fonts and sizes. I'll change the spacing like this and set the color to this. Next, I'll also add social media buttons to the menu. Just add another icon list widget and place it below the menu items. I'll delete these items and change it to YouTube. Now copy these items and change them to different platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You can add links to your accounts here as well. Okay, let's also style these buttons. Just go to style and change the color like this. I'll also change the font and set the size like this. Finally, I'll add some spacing between the buttons from here. To position the menu items directly under the menu buttons, click on the inner container. Now add a bit of top margin and padding. Next, reduce the gap between the icon lists from here. 
And for the social media icons, add some top margin like this. Now that we've added all our elements, let's set the CSS classes. This is quite important as it helps the code find the items on your menu. So follow along carefully to make sure everything works correctly. First, select the top main container where all your header elements are. Go to the advanced settings and add the custom CSS class. MDW, side, menu, area. Next, select the logo and set the CSS class, MDW, hide on scroll. For the buttons, use the class MDW, side, menu, button. Now for the side menu container, use MDW, side, menu. Finally, for the social media section, add the CSS class, MDW, side, menu, social. Once that's done, let's drag and drop an HTML widget to the page like this. Now go to the description box, copy the code and paste it here. Now click on publish and set a condition from here. I want to show it across all my pages. So let's select entire site and save the changes. Now let's go to my site and try out the menu. I can click on this button and yeah, everything is working perfectly. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.